Each of these seafoam covers houses a potentiometer. That's two per joystick set perpendicular to each other. One potentiometer senses up and down movement and the other left and right. So all this finally brings us to our first cause of drift, wear to the potentiometers. Over time, the wiper scrubbing back and forth against the resistive pad creates imperfections, altering the voltage readings across the terminal. If you're experiencing drift on any controller, you have three real options. Fix it, either yourself or through an experienced tech. If it's still under warranty, you can send the controller to the manufacturer for a fix, or if neither of those are possible, you're stuck buying a new one. After this research, it's bizarre to us that console makers don't consider joysticks to be consumable parts and design them to be easily replaced. 